The locals simply call it the Rumford Mill, even though there have been many name changes and owners over the years, and currently this mill employs 640 people. Senator Susan Collins getting a tour of the Catalyst Mill, greeting employees like Linda Dean, who's worked here for 27 years. Well, right now I'm encouraged about the future. Catalyst is working hard trying to diversify our paper here, and um, it looks good for us. She's seen other mills shut down and fellow papermakers get laid off. It isn't easy, she says, but Catalyst seems to be doing everything right since taking over 18 months ago. Senator Collins has seen it all, too. She says other mills didn't invest in equipment and didn't diversify their product line. Collins says Catalyst is making investments and positioning itself for the future. They're also exploring other kinds of specialty papers, and I think that's absolutely key uh, to the future of this mill and this industry. Catalyst president and CEO says the mill is doing so well, maybe too well, as a company from India has expressed an interest in buying the Rumford Mill. Now it's still a ways away whether this deal comes together, but should it go forward, what I hear is a gentleman that's totally aligned with where we want to take the company. So I don't see it as a risk. Few other details are being released regarding this expression of interest from a potential buyer. But one thing's for sure, the locals and Maine's congressional delegation will be watching closely. In Rumford, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.